Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Network and welcome back to part 6 which is also part 2 of the Freeze Easy Peak in Gobi's Valley episode because I forgot. So we've done part of both levels. I'm going to finish up both levels now. Yeah, for some reason this past week uh, Dustin has felt the need to give me a scene by scene walkthrough of the second Aladdin movie. I'm sorry, it's called Aladdin the Return of Jafar. Yeah, that, that was weird. Also, I don't understand why it was made. Uh, that Money. Thing. That absolutely. Thing. Eisner. Michael Eisner. That's why it was made. Can, can, can we spend the entire episode of me talking about Michael Eisner? Sure. Well, many people think he is evil and almost destroyed Disney. And I agree with those people. <laughs> well, everyone remembers how the late 90s, early 2000s, there's just nothing but direct-to-DVDs or direct-to-VHS sequels, right? Of all the big movies. What's a VHS? <sighs> I don't want to go... I, I, I don't want to talk about that. That makes me sad. But he was just trying to throw money at it. And Euro Disney was a disaster. And then he made a... Di Did you know he made a Dave and Buster's type thing for Disney that failed miserably? No. Yeah. Uh, Disney Quest, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, pretty much just what I said. Yeah. Uh, so, when I think of Dave and Buster's, I usually think of Palmer and Quest. So, it, there was a big facility in Chicago. Like, I... Okay, I don't watch a lot on YouTube, but one, but I watch, like, theme park history videos. You do? I'm not joking, I do. Which, Matt's groaning because I don't like roller coasters. Well, actually, my dad, for some reason, actually likes looking at stuff like that, too. Oh. Tell him to look up Defunkland. Defunkland. Defunkland is actually one of the better ones. I, um... I can't think of another one. It's like Yesterworld, but the Funk Land is really good. Um, it's, and they're rather new. I think like the, the that channel started like a year and a half ago, and he's done a lot. Of, he's grown quite a bit. It's it, it's good content and really good, really good editing. I I like him. So I would. You're talking about a person at a place actually called the Funk Land. That's the name of the channel. So, I would encourage everyone to go check out the Funk Land. It's interesting. Uh, he goes through dead uh, attractions. It's, and one of the more entertaining ones is not actually an attraction, but he goes over to the Nickelodeon Hotel in Orlando, Florida. And it's really weird. And then I, I also learned about Action Park. Never heard of that before. That's a... Apparently a lot of people got hurt. <laughs> um, and then there was a movie with Johnny Knoxville in it. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking of a, a Nickelodeon themed hotel and just thinking of things like, uh, would there be just an entire wing devoted to rooms that kind of look like Florissa explains it all or something? No, so... One, yeah, yes, in this episode of Banjo Kazooie, we're going to talk about Nick Hotels. <laughs> I have a very odd channel. <laughs> so, like, the, the kids' rooms would have a, um, like, a theme. So, there'd be, like, a portrait of SpongeBob or the Rugrat or Jimmy Neutron staring at you as you sleep. Oh, that's good. Um, you know, nightmare feels. So... It's a, it's like a mall, but the, he like went over all the prices. He's like, the, to stay at the hotel, you almost can't go to the, because it's trying to keep you there. And it was, so Nickelodeon Studios used to be at Universal Studios. Uh, well, the Nick Hotel was much, much closer to Disney, which was confusing as well. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, there's a lot of issues with the Nick Hotel and why it is not around today. Also, you have to also think, well, eventually, like, you know, like, you know SpongeBob is still going strong somehow. Oh yeah, this is fun. Mokum and dead. <laughs> Alright, 
coughed, so hopefully I will edit that out. And this makes no sense. <laughs> You're not gonna go back to your kids? Okay. Who are all alone and crying. <laughs> I have presents for them. I'll hit it when I, um, yeah. Wee. <laughs> Okay, uh, I need to be... I need to be a walrus. Because that's the natural thought. Hmm, race. I need to... I need... What do I need for Walrus, yes. Is there... Oh, I have to fly over there. Okay. Hmm. I'm really serious. Tell your dad to watch the front plan. Okay. <laughs> it, it is odd I watch stuff about theme parks, isn't it? Well, moreover, not even that, just the the whole abandoned world thing. It It's creepy and interesting. There's a few places, even in Disney, that's abandoned, like islands. Mm -hmm. Julie. Like, it's intriguing to think, and there's some interesting... Like, I wanna... I, I like Explore weird... stuff like that? I think it'd be cool. I don't wanna be, like, an urban explorer or anything, but I think it'd be kinda neat to... Oh, no, I'd completely be an urban explorer. It's just the whole... A lot of that is also trespassing, so... Yeah. I don't wanna deal with the whole... The law? Yeah, getting... How do they not get in trouble? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's with the I do know there was a part of uh, the Jurassic Park area in uh, Islands of Adventure it used to have a Triceratops encounter. It was blocked off, and then some urban explorers like snuck around after they closed it for a long time. And it was still there. The structure and the, the Triceratops kind of broken up a little bit. It was creepy, but I just can't imagine why you would abandon things and just its empty space not being used. Yeah, especially when in places like Disney, they take a lot of pride in using every inch for <clears> something. <throat> uh, even between, uh, behind little hedges and everything, they hide things. Like, uh, they actually have a very elaborate uh, mosquito killing uh, system. Really? Yes. Yeah. Huh. They're talking how just if you're in Disney, you're less likely to encounter bugs. Things like that. Just things you don't even think about that they really do try to push and make as perfect as possible. And apparently I got all 100 notes. I have to wait for him to talk to. Hey, Mr. Wallace. Jump on it. Great. Now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slums. Slums. Slums? Slum. What is propelling me? Uh. Magic and hope. Hmm. I'll accept it because it's stupid enough to be right. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey, hey, hey! You son of a... That brought me a little joy! Whoa. That bouncing of a sled is not healthy. Nope. Oh, you didn't eat this one? <laughs> I'm impressed by your 
ability to not eat this. Wow, another walrus. Take this. Watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Well, I wish all of them were this easy as a walrus literally throwing it at me. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Wazas. What was this? Weezes? Ain't Weezy? Because yeah, walruses usually just travel along the bottom of the water. How they water like that. This level. Just have to do another race. And I have to come back in here, get the Jean Joe, give the kids a presents, stop the Grinch from stealing Christmas. Ah. Oh, Ekam Bokum! <laughs> That's a legitimate laugh. <laughs> See that come. Uh. Uh, yeah, Knuckles would have been a good character for Smash. Yeah. It really does make me upset, though, that I had to explain the end Knuckles joke recently. To who? Uh, someone who wasn't around to see that. Okay. Younger. Uh, okay. Uh, Matt runs a uh, Pokemon TCG league. Yeah. I guess, I guess at least younger is acceptable. Mm -hmm. It isn't someone our age. And a gamer. All I know is, Sega has gained some hope from me by delaying Sonic Team Racing. Because they never delay anything. Even to the even when Sonic Boom was needing to be delayed, <laughs> I'm very proud of them, and I think and have a little hope for that game now. Well, you can play as big, so I had a lot of hope for it already. I enjoy that Banjo has his eyes on his head, on his his face, hands on his eyes. Remember when Banjo was in Sonic uh, All Star Racing? The nuts and bolts design was as an exclusive for the 360 version. And then, if I'm not mistaken, Wreck It Ralph was in one of them. And Danica Patrick. Wait, seriously? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Again, could have been a fever dream. Let us know in the <laughs> comments below if I'm just completely out of my mind. Oh, well, you're remembering things like shirt tails. <laughs> hey, I can name a lot of 80s, early 90s cartoons that I watched. Well, the thing is, when I looked up the picture, it does look kind of familiar. <laughs> Snorks? Which, do you remember Snorks? I do remember the Snorks. I like the Snorks more than the uh, Snorks. Full, full. I ended up watching more Snorks than Snorks. I have a lot of victory music happening now! <laughs> cool, an enormous ice key. We should keep this stop and swoop item for later. Where's the stop and swap? I don't know. Let us know in the comments below how it's pronounced by just typing the name. 
It's spelled S W R E. You fool. Beautiful. I think I just need one Jiggy. Yep, I think it's the presents, right? It is, yeah. And that's right by the exit, so. Yeah. Um, I don't need um, to be the walrus to get the switches. Eat them, bulk them. Yeah, I pointed out earlier and you forgot, or you said something like you'll get it later. Well, I did get it later, did I not? Eventually, after forgetting about it. <clears throat> Shh, they'll never know. They were there. Do uh, you have video evidence? Yes. Oh. Well, you do. It'll be uploaded eventually. Or will it? <clears throat> And now he's sleeping on the job. <laughs> Worst father ever! Here you go. Here's your Fortnite expansions crap. Yeah, it's just Xbox One crap. Or Xbox Live gift cards that I can waste on Fortnite skins or something. Well, to be fair, I don't think Fortnite's the worst thing in the world. No, but... Just the fact that everything is cosmetic and the fact that people spend as much money as they do on it seems silly. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed by the model. It works. I mean, again, I played it. I played a few, quite a yeah. few. It's, I mean, it's free. Why the heck not? Yeah, and it is it is a good game. It's just, I do believe it is grossly overhyped. Yeah. Okay. But that's... I had an urge to play it this week, actually. I booted up, played two matches as I can, and done. Yeah. And there are constant spanner uh, updates. Yeah, they keep it interesting. Like, they have a good thing going. I just don't think it's the end-all be-all. Yeah. And especially when you have things like a uh, Halloween decoration that you can get for your house. Which is nothing more than a big inflatable yard thing. That's the battle bus. That's uh... merchandising, where the real money from the movies happen. It's actually genius. All right, gotta get there. Don't know why. I like how the music changes subtly as you're going through. What the? So why do you need a flight pad all the way up there? So now I can go do something else. Oh, really? Yes. In this room? Yes. Right here. Ow! <laughs> wow. I think I gotta like do something later for ow. Okay, enough screwing around. Time to go to Gobi's Valley. Finish that off. And in this episode, once and for all. Ugh. Oh, I need the boots. Das boot? There's an inflatable battle bus, really? Yeah! Where did you see this? On the internet. Oh, for the love of you. For a lot of stuff. Do you want ThinkGeek or something? I don't know. Sounds like something that'd be on ThinkGeek, like for their people Fools thing. Last time on this channel, I had more Elgato issues. Please tell me if you know how to fix them. Now that we got some jiggies, we got some notes, and we're not gonna go through it again because reasons? Do I need them? 
Um, it's just easier this way. It's still fun. And you missed some boring jokes, probably. Did I make any? Did we make any good jokes? Uh, we made another reference to Aladdin. Damn, we need to start the whole game from the beginning now. Yeah. Well, no. If it was, it was, if it was Lion King, then yes. Well, it was more a reference to an Aladdin joke from earlier, so you really didn't miss anything. Huh? Okay. Well then. Yeah. All is well. So okay. Rewatch Freeze Easy Peach. Just see it. We here at the Nintendo Network recycle jokes because we care about the Earth. Hooray! <laughs> Huh. I miss jumping around with Cappy. It seems faster with Cappy. It really does. <laughs> also, you can do that weird rolling move. Which I hated, like, the first couple, like, play, play times, and then I really loved it eventually. Yeah, once you got used to it, it's great. Really made the big expansiveness, especially of like the Sand Kingdom, really nice. Grabba's got a jiggy. Near, near, near. Near, 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 near. Well, thankfully we have highbrowness. Yes. Near, 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 near. Near, 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 Oh, that's probably what they're going for. Ah. Uh, uh. Be quick. Supersonic speed. I go fast. No, I've had that for a thousand years. Well, he's now sent to the underworld because I wanted the jiggy. I mean, seriously, your sister's just going to get a little bigger. There's why are we body shaming her into thinking she can't be beautiful like that? Ikabogums. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> You know, the bad body shaming joke that everyone has done to the point that it was probably done on a current bad sitcoms like... Are there any sitcoms actually actively on right now? Yeah, there are. Big Bang doesn't count. Oh, I did finally uh, watch uh, the part of another episode. And, yep, it's not funny. I, I don't know why people like that. Good news is it's ending. Yep. Bad news is like 11 years too late. Yeah, it just the main character was acting like a jerk because he was too socially inept to realize he was being a jerk. I mean, it's the same reason I don't watch Family Guy anymore. He just became a jerk. Yeah. He wasn't a lovable goof, you know, like he started out to be. He's just a jerk and. Honestly, like, verbally abusive to Lois, not that they've made her not deserve it, because the way she acts, but everyone's just insufferable and annoying. Come on, I swear if I don't make this. Or, oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, no! I had it! I had it! What the happened? Oh. I hate this game right now. Oh, come on! Why? Every bloody time. I feel like I go a little faster when I jump. Now it's just blind rage. Oh, now it's just blind rage. <clears throat> now I'm just determined. Is this where the entertainment comes? When I suffer? Yeah, pretty much. Ugh. Should have just played Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh! This still has a more in depth and interesting plot. And this? Huh? And this? No, this has the more oh. in depth and interesting plot. God. <clears throat> I'm exaggerating, but not by that much. 
It's more engaging. That is my angry noise. <laughs> and I'm kind of getting pissed off here. <laughs> and, and we're back. Again, the Elgato is really starting to piss me off. Okay, so basically there's a bunch of failed runs for that little time challenge. And, why and not? Oh. unfortunately got kind of interesting. And we don't know how much was recorded. Because I just jumped right back into recording before deciding to listen to what I already did. Hey, one. Thank you. Missed miss that one too. So, hopefully, some of my rage came through. <laughs> Probably not much. I'm kind of steaming right now, I'm not gonna lie. Stupid. <sighs> Which is ironic because you're underwater. Careful. Ironic? I don't think it's, it's something. I still don't know the difference between irony and what's that's kind of silly. Totally meant to do that. Ugh, Valley has not pissed me off this much before. My rumble pack is working. <laughs> I remember what such a big deal that was. Oh yeah, came packaged with Star Fox 64, it was great. It's kind of funny thinking about it now, but that was a little risky to put something like that packaged with a franchise that had not really proven itself yet. Yeah. I wouldn't say the first Star Fox was really a failure by any means, and I think it sold pretty well, but... Well, and then when you've got games nowadays that you just kind of take it for granted. Oh, yeah. Move. Oh, yeah, you do. There's subtle little things, especially with the HD rumble on the Switch. Yeah. There's some... Gorilla. And the way they have implemented that into the Pokeball Plus for uh, Let's Go, really impressive. The, moreover, just the way it rumbles, the Pokeball Plus is very, it's different, and it's actually really cool in its own right. It just, it feels right. And it's hard to explain, but... Go spend 40 bucks. <laughs> Maybe. It, it's definitely worth, if you have a friend with it, definitely try it out. Uh, if you think you'll like it, then yeah, go for it. Go for it. You chose not to heed. Oh gosh. I used to know this maze. Obviously, I don't right now. Again, music's not helping. <laughs> Did remember that? <laughs> <sighs> that was far more stressful than it needed to be. And there's your hunter's point. Point, yes, coin. Go eight. Okay. I just hear the whistle of a ginger. Yes, I did. Built. Nine. Okay, so I know I know where the last one is. It's near the beginning. 
I'm gonna hit B and sub A. Even high blur is on the lift damn game. Okay, I'm missing. I know where one honeycomb is. Screw it, that's been going on long enough. Find out where the honeycombs are. Me? Yes, you. No, the audience. I know there's one in the cactus. Yeah, I remember that one. And this level has gone on long enough and has pissed me off long enough. And the Elgato has pissed me off long enough. And so we're going to just look. So you do not remember the entire game. I will fully admit I'm the fifth or sixth world in. I do not remember, no. I'm sure I could figure it out. I'm just tired. And I'm mad at the Elgato. This episode alone, we had two disconnections. Oh, freezes, yeah. Honeycomb. Get one in the cacti. It's gonna mean something more stupid that I missed. Let's see if I can remember it. Unless it was in King Sandy Butt 2. Get the last jiggy while Matt is looking something up. Sorry, Gubby. Time to give up all your water. Lovely water. So no one knows that I failed. I'm not getting an approval, a uh, look of approval from him. Yep. Uh, fine. You, you were completely confident that you were able to do it. You know, it's all from memory. I've got one honeycomb. So far. Oh, oh, you're going to enjoy this, aren't you? That's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. The awesome desert named after you. Well, the monstrous banjo has plagued it. Yep. It's left it in shambles and ruins. That's everything, if I'm not mistaken. 110 too. 36 minutes, that's not horrible. 
Uh, each level is getting progressively longer. I did piddle around here for a little bit with stupidity and forgetfulness and jumping between this and Freeze Easy Peak. Maybe the next level of Mad Monster Mansion will not be as bad. Grab the witch switch jiggy and we will call it a day. The, uh, the boots always have a specific timer associated with them. It's about the time you need for everything. Pretty much. Welcome. Jumpy jumpy. Bow, bow. Alright guys, thank you for joining us for this part of Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. Next time we'll be hitting the Mad Monster Mansion. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> so much enthusiasm. <laughs> so much enthusiasm. Something.